The graph below models a bicycle's distance from a bike shop over time. We have a distance here in kilometers, we have time in hours. Calculate the change in the speed from the bike from segment P to segment Q. So here the tip we're given is that the speed is indicated by the slope of the line segment. So the slope of the distance time graph is going to be the velocity. So here we're increasing, we're increasing, we're, we have a positive velocity and then we're also, we also have a positive velocity here, but this positive velocity is not as steep as this one here, so, we, so the velocity here is, is greater than over here. So the question here is, what is the change in speed? So let's calculate the speed of this segment here. So the velocity here for segment P is going to be the slope of this graph. Now the slope of this graph is going to be rise over run. So the velocity here is equals to rise over run. Now the rise here is going to be 40 over the run, which is 2. So here the velocity is 20. This is 20 kilometers per hour. So this is our velocity 1. Let's calculate our velocity 2. Our velocity here is the rise over run, the slope of this distance time graph. And so the velocity here is rise, which is, this is 10, so this would be 15, 3 squares would be 15, 15 over the run, which is from 2 hours to 5 hours over 3. So this here is, the velocity is 5 kilometers per hour. So we went from 20 kilometers an hour down to 5 kilometers per hour. So we're decreasing by 15 kilometers per hour. So the answer here is A. So an alternate question would be to calculate the average speed. The average speed from the beginning to the end of a distance time graph would simply be the slope from the beginning point to the end point. So the average the average speed would be the rise, which would be from here to here, which would be 55 um, minus zero, which is 55 kilometers, over the change in the overall change in time, which is five hours. So the average speed would be 11 kilometers per hour, but that's not the question.